All right, so today I'm extremely excited to bring this new product to you. This is from 8 Advanced Optic. Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm excited to bring this to you guys, like I said. And seriously, this is me unboxing it. You guys are gonna see it. First time, first impressions, everything. This is such a prototype, guys, that they haven't even, they don't even have it in a box. They're just sending this to me to test out, try out, give them some feedback. They've been working on this since at least the first of the summer. This is September 18th. There it is, guys. So we're out at the range, we did the unboxing, and now we're gonna put the 8 Advanced Optics spike on the Canik. Gonna go over a few little features of the spike. Before. I have a caliper out here, we're gonna measure the lens, measure it all. Before we get too much into that, I'm gonna show you guys a few things. As you guys can see, they have a little dot back here. It looks like little holes. And uh, the reason they have holes here is because this is a prototype, like I said earlier. Aid was wanting to put fiber optic pins inside these holes. So on the very back of this spike optic, you do have little holes back here. Their intent was to actually put fiber optic pins inside there to actually help with the rear sight. It does have this little notch in the back, so you could use this as a rear sight if you needed to. All right, so we are on end calibrated. Let's go ahead, overall width. There you guys see, 25.2. Front to back. Height. All right, so now let's take an inside shot of the lens. And height, not quite 16. There are all the specs on this. One thing I do like that they put these little grooves on the side so you guys can actually grab this. Now this is a metal housing, aluminum housing, unlike some other ones that are out there on the market that are polymer. It does have an auto adjusting red dot. When it is available, it's going to have this little design right here on the side of it. I do like these little grooves in the side. You can actually grip them. Now, granted, they're going kind of the wrong way. I'd rather have them going up and down than, or going side to side. So it kind of gives me a little bit of traction if I did want to use this to, to uh, cock the pistol. But uh, nonetheless, this is metal. I do like it. Now, being that this is a prototype, this is your battery. You put your battery in, and then you have this little rubber seal on the bottom to seal this. Now the final product is going to have a big rubber seal, as you guys can see this outline cut right here, to seal the whole thing. So you will eventually, this you won't get this little dot, you'll get a whole seal to seal the whole bottom of it up. I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed onto the Canik TP9, and we'll see what this looks like. All right, just like that, the Aid Advanced Optic is on. Let's see if we can get you guys a... That is a very, very bright red dot. Let me see if I can... Yeah, it's not as not as bright as the camera's making it out to be. Let me... So there's what the red dot's looking like. So there's our picture. Let's take a few shots. Nope. And that's empty. All right, so let's go over a few more specs on this spike. I showed you guys the specs earlier on how big this was. Uh, they were making my adjustments. There's my windage adjustment. My elevation adjustment is right here. So I'm going to adjust this because as you guys can see in that last video, first few shots with it, it was off a little bit. The price on this is going to be about 150 bucks. It should be about 1st of November. When it comes out and is available, like I said, this is a prototype. This is all aluminum. 
Mine came with countersink screws. I do not, I'm not 100% sure if they're going to send those with the countersink screws, but it is flat on top. Now, Canik does provide these screws that I used here, and that's what I decided to go with for the simple fact they are a Canik. They uh, already have the thread pitch, and they are flat. So if you guys have a Canik TP9 Elite SC just like this, you guys could use the screws that are provided with your Canik. Let's get back, do some more shooting. I'm really enjoying this. All right, guys, just to show you something. We're gonna see how accurate this is we got crackers they're about a two inch size cracker as you guys can see nope we got crackers out here holy crackers we're gonna shoot those as well as our steel plate let's see how accurate this little guy is we'll start off with the close one right here the cracker on the left closest Oh, he's dead. We'll go to the left, brother, one back. Right lower. Put the dust over there. We're going to go to the far back right one. Oh, crap, it's bye bye. I can see my red dot is just a little bit of the right there, so either adjusting, but we're gonna go target now. I guess we're not. That was last. <laughs> Alright, well, we ended up killing the crafter, so uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna test something out here. I'm just gonna see if my, my target or my red dot's on first, the target down there, range, and uh, once we get it on, we'll uh, throw out a few of the targets here. Alright, that was my 10 rounder. We got plastic golf on that. I like to pick six of these up or eight of these up at the dollar store for a buck. So, here we go. We're gonna take the golf. Oh, wow, I'm gonna run down there real quick. Alright, we got 15 rounds. Here we go. We're gonna play a little golf. Maybe some crackers here. Something close. Right way. Look over there, he's gone. Let's go left. Okay, so, got a golf ball for right now. We got the target. Oh yeah, guys. I am digging this. Uh, this is definitely going to be a new carry, new home defense gun. This Canik is awesome. I love it so much. We're actually going to do something really cool to it. Eight Advanced Optics, thanks for bringing this out. Now, I said earlier, this does have an auto adjustment. The red dot does adjust automatically. So I'm in the shade right now. Being in the shade, this is this red dot is perfect. But being in the being in the shade like this, this red dot is perfect. It's not too dark, not too dim, not too bright, not too dim. So. Great job on the auto adjustment feature, Aid. You guys did a great job on that. Because my rear sights are so high, I can't. I wouldn't ever be able to see it. So that doesn't really bother me. If it was something you guys did need a rear sight for, you would be able to use that. That's very cool. I like that feature. On my golf ball, so we're going to continue some golf in here. See that golf ball? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, got him way up there. Look at that guy go. I hope you guys can see him, I hope so. Not on that one. Next 15 rounder. Start up close. Like I said, guys, those are just plastic golf balls. This is pretty fun. So, we're gonna finish off this 15 rounder with the steel target. Yeah, guys, that definitely makes me a lot better shooter. 
I acquire that target a lot faster. I'm 15 yards away, and I'm just rocking that steel. This thing makes me a great shooter. It's not just the optic, it's also the trigger. This Cantic trigger, guys, it's one of the better triggers I have felt on a pistol straight out of the factory. I love this whole setup. Very nice, very nice. Bring in some steel. All right, we're gonna try something here real quick. The gun is empty, as you guys can see. I'm gonna close it. We're gonna rack it. We had like a malfunction. We could hook it onto our pants. Now let's see if it held zero. I got six, five rounds. I got five rounds. Now I'd say it held zero. All right, so we just finished up the video out here on this eight advanced spike. I'm very excited about this. This thing is working awesome. Uh, guys, this whole setup didn't cost me very much. Uh, I'm gonna go over the whole gun. The whole gun was just a Canic TP9 straight from the factory. The trigger is awesome. These triggers are pretty amazing. I do know they make aftermarket triggers for these, and I kind of wonder if this is, if it's this good, how much more better could it actually be? $400 for the gun, 150 bucks for the spike when it comes out, 1st November 2020, and the eight advanced optic laser red dot size is 100 bucks. So I have $650 into this home defense gun, everyday carry. I'm very excited. This is a nice setup. As you guys can see, I can shoot very well with it, and I'm going to continue to carry this and practice with this daily. It does take a 2032 battery, and I have people that can, I have heard comments, and I do see comments quite often that, oh, if you got to take the side off, that's that's a no go for me. If you're out practicing with your everyday carry at least once a month, what's the big deal about changing a battery out and recycling your red dot in? What's it going to change? Just a little bit. You're going to have what 20 rounds down range to sight it back in. That's not a big deal for me. Plus, I enjoy getting out and shooting my gun. I don't have an issue with taking the red dot off and actually changing out. Now, how long does this battery last? I do not know. It does have auto adjusting, as I said. It is a 2032 battery. I wish they did the serrations the other direction instead of going this way, they went this way. It's eight advanced optic, laser, flashlight combo. I'm pretty impressed with it. At this range, I am 14 yards away. I can turn this on and I can see the laser down range at my steel target. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it. That is in the sunshine, and I can see it on a white target. Pretty impressive to me for this laser flashlight combo. So guys, feel free to share this on any social media out there. If you want to know more about this laser flashlight combo, I'm gonna leave a link right up here in the corner. If it's not there, there'll be a link in the description down below. You can follow me on social media. My social medias are Instagram, Facebook, right here on YouTube, Gunstreamer, and Full30.com. Thanks for shooting the breeze with me. We'll see you next time.